So what we're here to do today is to demonstrate off-the-shelf hardware. This is, a, this is a system that's coming online right now over the next five years. It'll be fully functional in the U.S. and then by 2020 everybody's going to be using it. So we're just demonstrating what's going to happen in the future. Our unit experienced an actual collision with a UAV out there on short final. And they were pretty lucky, 10 feet um, this way would have been right through the cockpit. So in a sense, this demonstration is somewhat anticlimactic. Right? You're going to look at the chart, you're going to see a couple of icons on there, a couple of airplanes. Well, you know, and then what? Well, you're done, right? It's, it's really that simple, but the point here is, it's that simple. In the Arcturus, we're flying a Mode S ADSB out transponder, and this is bolted to the side of that airplane. It weighs 100 grams and it hardly consumes any power and it's connected to the uh, Arcturus Piccolo autopilot uh, through this connector and the autopilot has a GPS receiver in it. So the Arcturus autopilot tells the transponder its coordinates. The transponder is actually measuring pressure altitude with this little port right there. It combines the, the lat long coordinates from the GPS receiver and that pressure altitude measured from the encoder and then it creates an ADSB out message and it sends it to the antenna and it does that twice per second. So that's what's going on in the Arcturus airplane. Today we're gonna fly a Cirrus SR-22 from uh, Paso Robles Airport and that's gonna carry a, a, another version of our transponder. This is an ADSB out transponder that has a uh, GPS receiver integrated with it. This'll do the same thing. It'll measure pressure altitude with this port there's a uh, GPS receiver and an antenna right in there, and it's gonna, again, it transmits its location the same way the Arcturus does to the transponder. It formulates the message and then sends it out the antenna, and that thing right there will, will last about 10 hours, so that battery's plenty big. That'll be in the, in the uh, Cirrus. Okay, so now you've got both aircraft transmitting their locations via ADS-B. That's wonderful, that's just fine and great, but to make use of that, we need to receive those signals. And that's where this Clarity ADSB receiver comes in. This, this device receives those signals from the Arcturus and from the Cirrus, and it connects up to, a, to an iPad via Wi-Fi link. So this is just a little repeater. It relays information it receives on 1090 megahertz, the traditional transponder frequency, over to the iPad on the Wi-Fi link. And what's the iPad got? It has a piece of software that you can download on iTunes. This particular software is called Hilton Software Wing X. Clarity's gonna send its locations that it receives from the Arcturus and the uh, Cirrus over the Wi-Fi link to the iPad, and then Wing X software plots those as little airplanes on the map. So bingo, now I'm, I'm a pilot in the cockpit, I've got my Clarity in the cockpit, and I can look down on this thing and I can see the Arcturus. I could see him out there, you know, five miles away at my two o'clock or whatever. And so now, even though I can't see him visually, I can see him electronically very, very precisely because that GPS coordinate that he's broadcasting to me is extremely precise. And I can actually interoperate with an unmanned airplane. Today, we're just gonna demonstrate this and show how these just off the shelf systems can be used to track the two aircraft What's gonna happen is, I'll head off to uh, Paso Robles Airfield to the Cirrus. I'll take off in the Cirrus. The Arcturus will take off. We'll fly around here for 10, 15 minutes, right? There are two icons on a map, right? So it's, it's, it's not gonna be that much to see, although we are witnessing a little piece of history here. The Cirrus basically flew the edge of the restricted space in the cockpit. Right. We were able to see the Arcturus 
And on the iPad, we could see that it was an Arcturus. We could see his altitude similarly, but we could also see his direction of flight. It's really that simple, but the point here is, it's that simple.